Watching the evolution of Tron has been fascinating. You have to remember that at the time we made Tron, which was 1981, it came out in 82, there was no internet, there were no PCs, there were no Macs, there weren't even cell phones. So everything that we were doing to make that movie, we were, we were generating for the first time. It was the first film to use computer simulation to uh, imitate what would have been done with models in traditional filmmaking. Uh, we were creating a new fantasy world, cyberspace, that nobody had ever seen nor knew of. And to watch all of that change through time, the way it's evolved over uh, next year will be 30 years, has been really a fascinating journey. Uh, and a lot of things happened a lot faster than I thought they would. Um, the software and the hardware has been phenomenal, the evolution. And now we're to a point where there isn't anything that you can't create with computer simulation. When we worked on Tron, there was a unique thing. We really worked as a team of people. Steve Lisberger was a phenomenal director and designer and created the idea, but he was very collaborative. And the really great directors are very collaborative, the Steven Spielbergs of this world. When they hear a good idea, they use that idea. The idea does not have to come out of them like they created it. Google Maps, MapQuest, and Yahoo Maps teamed up real quick to give us all directions to find ourselves a reality. The class I'm teaching at LMU now, um, basically I'm taking some students that uh, come from production, some from animation, but I'm actually making them complete an entire idea, an idea for a film. If you're going to be a good teacher, you have to inspire people. If you don't want to do that, then you really shouldn't teach. Uh, to me, life is about enthusiasm. You know, it's the old half full or half empty glass of water. To me, uh, I don't understand pessimism, and I don't understand anything other than enthusiasm. So um, that's part of what I try and teach with. That's what I want to pass along, uh, how to be enthusiastic, love what you do, love your work, uh, how to get really better at it, how to be better at it than anybody else. You can actually work in the format that's the uh, PowerPoint format, which is horizontal, so you can have pictures here. The kind of students that I'm uh, uh, working with at uh, Loyola and that I'm meeting now that I'm there, and uh, I think they're fascinating, and I think they're really, I'm really quite impressed. Um, first of all, they've all grown up in, uh, in the, the era of uh, total media. Special effects haven't been special for quite some time. They're in everything, all the time magazines, films, games, television, everything. So they've grown up with that. They don't know how it's done or they didn't when they were little, but the ones who were fascinated to know how and why it was done, who were really driven by you know imagery and music and dance and writing, are the ones who um, end up at Loyola. I love the fact that the school, especially in film and television, um, that you have to start with the classics. You have to learn to draw. You learn the basics. That is essential to any art form you're involved with. You know, a lot of people don't in college know exactly what they want to do. And they will have that question invariably. I want to be um, a dancer. I want to be an animator. And what I want to do is to fire whatever it takes to get them to understand what it really means to be an animator. That from that moment on, if you ask me that question, I can tell you that from the moment you ask me that question, from this very second on, you can become an animator. And you are an animator if, from this moment on, all you think about is animation. You go see every film you can. You start reading the history of animation. You learn how to draw like everything. You look how everything moves around you. How can I make you know, this mouse funny? How can I, you know, what's funny? What's sad? What's body language? How do the physics of the things around you move? You know, how does a ball bounce? How do things walk? You have to, from this moment on, if you want to be an animator, think like that. <laughs>